Hey everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com. It's about 4.20 on September 10th, 2013. We're going to take a look at the chart after I read this. Uh, www.SP500Chart.com and this video are for educational purposes only. Nothing stated at the site or in the video is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I am not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. So let's uh, take a look. Okay, looking at a 30-minute chart, um, I don't think there's any doubt that we bounced down here on this uh, uh, support line now that we are up into the uh, middle 1680s, having come up all the way from about 1629-ish at the, at the lows in early September. We spoke yesterday about the possibility of an inverted head and shoulders pattern. And I reminded you that uh, we've been seeing some of these patterns lately that... <clears throat> that just don't form a right shoulder. They seem just to, to be averse to taking that additional step. And that's what we see again. No right shoulder. Just here's the neckline. We stopped there yesterday. We gap up over it today. And we get a little bit of validation at least temporarily, for the idea of gap resistance from this gap down on the 15th of August, as that is where our move ended the day, right at gap resistance. So, the question is, will there be enough consolidation in the low to mid 1680s to absorb the sellers who are selling at this gap level and again think about think about the psychology here somebody let's just say they're trading uh they're just trading uh, an ETF in the S&P Which, whichever one pick one it doesn't matter and let's just say spy so they wake up on the morning of the 15th to this serious Syria news and they thought, gee, I'm going to buy here at 1685. Looks like a great spot to buy. We've got this support line. And so they buy or they bought up here. It doesn't matter. They're in the market north of this line. They're in the market north of this line. And all of a sudden, they're looking at a gap down and spending three plus weeks under their uh, spot at which they are willing now to get out even. Well, that's why you get gap resistance, because there are people who are, who are patient and they're waiting for the opportunity to get out at 1685, which was where they were on, on August 14th before that 20-something um, point gap down. Now, if we overcome this gap, then I think it's a pretty easy uh, pathway to get back up to this uh, purple line right here that is the neckline from this head and shoulders top that created that gap down. And once again, we are looking at an incompleted inverted head and shoulders pattern, which just, it just makes things tough because you look at this and you say, well, is this a, a premature breakout and we're going to fall back down to the 1650s or the, or the mid-1650s and form that right shoulder? Or do we now look 
for our target from this pattern, even though the pattern didn't complete. And I'll be honest with you, I, I, I think it's good to know where that target is, but I don't have the same sense of, of confidence in this pattern down here because it didn't complete. But if you want to know where the target is, had it completed, I think that's worth mentioning. And it is at, measure that again. Yep. It's at about 1715. So it's just a little bit north of where we were back at 1710. So, so let's see. Maybe maybe the uh, the market has the strength to do that. But I have to be frank and tell you, without that right shoulder, I just don't have nearly the good feeling about that target as I would have had we made that next trip down, then taken out this resistance level. So with that in mind, um, I will, I will uh, sell my SPY um, position upon reaching this, this neckline. I just think that's the prudent thing to do. And uh, guys, there's some, there's some stocks that are starting to look pretty bullish. So uh, uh, this market looks like it wants to just keep tooling on up. But I'm going to trust the chart. I'm going, to, I'm going to take into account the fact that we don't have a right shoulder on this pattern. And I'm not going to be real aggressive about looking for that 1715. So I will sell my spy on a tag of this line right here. I likely will not go short, but rather would wait for some kind of pullback once again so, guys, I think that's about it. If we look at uh, the day on a five-minute chart, you can see we gap up, and then we just kind of weave around for a little bit. And we actually ended the day at the high of the day, um, according to this uh, BATS exchange chart right here. And this could be a little flag set up to take out gap resistance and head on up to the uh, to the mid 1690s. That would certainly be a nice thing to see happen tomorrow if you're a bull. And then we have to evaluate if if the uh, market has the strength to take out this neckline. And I'll remind you that this neckline is from a head and shoulders top back here that has already more than met its target. So I don't know that you can look at this and say, yeah, I'm expecting some more significant downside upon reaching this line, because I don't think you can. I think you can say this line should produce resistance, and because of that, I think a, a careful trader might say, let's take profits there. But if you like risk, then, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do because there is a, a decent chance that this market is, is going to take this line out eventually. I'm just not necessarily that excited about holding through uh, a, a potential dip off of this line until that happens. I would rather take profits here than buy back on some kind of a dip. So guys, that's your video for September 10th, 2013. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support.